Zoom is amazing, isn't it? All these new fandangled ways we found to communicate this year. Oh. Hello, Florence. How are you? <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I've been thinking the same thing. What would we have done if this all happened before the internet? We'd have been so lonely. I don't know, Flo. I think people have always found ways to communicate long distance since the dawn of time. Really, Adam? Did you see what they found? It's amazing. No, I didn't. Please tell me. I will. In an Indonesian cave, on a wall near the back, a Neanderthal, Neil Buchanan, left a big art attack, handprints and a picture of a pig below, painted 40,000 years ago. Did the piggy think he'd still be on that wall in 2021? If the doodling cave dude only knew, we're still looking at his art debut. Whoa! Whoa! Uh -oh. So although it might sound gloomy, with no WhatsApp or Zoom, he still found ways to communicate. Through his piggy pick, we're talking to our cave man mate. Whether it's a laptop or ancient art, they bring us together when we're apart. In lockdown part three, what would we do? medieval with gossip you had to tell you'd hire the town crier to give everyone a bell he'd jingle all the way and shout with clear enunciation like a noisy oldie worldie harry gratian imagine harry shaking his ding dong Adam. from the telegram to instagram it's the same through history a hieroglyph is like a gift or an ancient emoji whoa whoa uh oh No iPad or phone, we still found ways to keep in touch. All this time it hasn't really changed that much. Whether it's a laptop or ancient art, they bring us together when we're apart. In lockdown part three, what would we do if there was no way to say, I like you too. Even though we found all these new ways to communicate, it's not so different to the past. Exactly. Whether it's posting a letter or posting on Facebook, it's all the same human need to feel connected. I'm not going to lie though, I'm glad we have the internet. I mean, a cave painting is not quite the same. And this way, I can talk to you and see you, but I don't have to smell you. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. It's true though. We owe so much to these different forms of communication. Thanks to FaceTime, we were able to say goodnight to my grandson, Henry. Night-night, Henry. Goodnight, Henry. We've been able to use FaceTime to see our friends. I was able to sing Christmas carols with my grandparents over Skype. I can see my fiancé from Belgium. I've been able to teach, so I don't let my students down. I've hosted my pub quiz on WhatsApp. I love my Zoom coffee dates with friends. I've hosted online gin tasting. Still been able to enjoy theatre or choir rehearsals. Being able to see my sister's face when I can't give her a hug. I was also able to wish my nephew a happy birthday via Zoom, and that cheered him up, and it cheered me up. <laughs> It's not going to be locked down forever, Flo. And for now, we can do this. Whether it's a laptop or ancient art, they bring us together when we're apart. In lockdown part three, what would we do if there was no way to say, Flo, I love you?